<laughs> What's up guys? It's Hasselbeen here. Stay sorry game happy states the full game to Martha's Dolls. Now I did play the demo of this a while ago when the demo first came out. So Martha's Dolls is a first person horror game where I will be venturing out to an abandoned village where it's rumoured to be cursed by some haunted dolls made by a woman named Martha. So, if you'd like to play a game for yourself, I'll leave the link down in the description. In the meantime, let's play the game. Here you will start in Murphy Village outside Martha's Dolls. Find a way to enter house. Be careful, they are watching you. Oh, I wonder who's watching me. The dolls? This is a special report on the mysterious <laughs> death of Martha, a doll maker who was found dead in her home surrounded by her dolls. Some people believe that Martha's dolls may have been possessed by evil spirit. Alright, what's this? Oh, a video camera, is it? E. Battery. I think I will need to use my camera. It's dark here. Or you could use a torch. Alright, I can see a fire over there. Are we gonna shut our door? A doll just nicking a car. Just saying, you don't know how clever these dolls might be. Oh, what is this? This skeleton's disappearing. Hmm. An abandoned, an abandoned village, you say, right? What's this? More camera battery, very nice. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha, uh -huh. so we're eventually recording. It's very outlast feeling like, isn't it? Oh hello, you wait for your bus. I think your bus might be a little bit delayed. You might have to wait for the next one. Ah! Okay. If you want to get on a bus, that's fine. Aha, we got night vision. So on this bus we go in. Hello? Tickets? Tickets! Anyone got their tickets? Ah. Oh, I've got a bowl. Why have we got that for? Some sort of playground. Mm. Why is there a telephone box? Shed door? Ooh. Are we dealing with some sort of cannibalism or something? There's some sort of very weird cult going on. <laughs> Was a surprise. Ah. Very low battery. Hang on. Can I? Ah ha ha. There's a basement. Can I use ladder? Yes, we can. Going down, down. Do, 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 do. There we go. Bruh. Oh, we can go in. Oh, we have to crouch. Oh god. This don't feel good. Mannequins. Either Martha was found dead by these cursed dolls, or something else did this. And the dolls were made to blame. Or well, the dolls can be part of it. Oh, there we go. I did not see that there just now until now, so. Hmm. 
What's that on the wall there? The valve. Ooh, let's return it. Let's let's rotate it, I mean. Ooh, there's a doorway. Elevator here. This is not predictable. Yeah, because an elevator is certainly normal. I mean, it's quite uplifting. There's lights, so what's stopping us? Floor what? Floor two? Might as well. Is there a floor? Oh. Is there an option to go? Ah, oh, okay. <sighs> Ooh, where are we? <laughs> oh my god. What was that? I did not have my camera out on sign. And there is jam everywhere. Goodness me. Oh my god. Martha's house key and there's a Luigi board. Lovely. And more stuff. Definitely not some serial killer living down here, right? Right, we're going to the house now, are we? Great. What's on floor three? Can I see? Don't know if we'll be able to go back down. No, definitely not. So, up and out we go. I like how my first steps are nice and silent. It would be quite useful when it comes to like um, stealth moments, I guess. And to the house we go. And here we go, we're inside the house. Here we go. Inside Martha's house, you will understand more about her dolls and about her story. Prepare yourself to dive into a great horror experience. Of course, because I believe the house is in the demo, right? And here we are. <laughs> The demonologist lobby. <laughs> nice. Go in here. There's a remote. Oh no, pick lock. Of course, because we can pick lock, isn't it? In it, mate! Remember when the demon's like a jack in the box? <laughs> I believe this. Finally, I'm inside Martha's house. Let's start the adventure. Of course, let's do that, mate! <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, I remember you. <laughs> I was not ready for that. Jesus Christ, now he's looking forward. I was not ready for that. I was waiting for a little bit longer than that. But okay, I guess he doesn't like the chandelier. Definitely some teenagers or someone's been in here because look at the graffiti. <laughs> and they've even played um, knots and crosses. How lovely. Uh, right in here, there's a bathroom. Towels neatly folded and rolled. Oh, sweet. Now, apparently, I'm a vampire according to the reflection. Anyways. Or knots and crosses. <laughs> Fun to ban the place, and instead of just, you know, having a look around, let's play a game of knots and crosses. Soon they'll be playing um, Connect Sport at some point, won't they? Door is locked. I guess I think we need a key for that, don't we? Oh, I think this leads to the basements. Right, up the stairs we go. Up to mighty game and Irish that for me. Hello? Oh. Bedroom's changed, I see. Of course, the key's on the floor. Remember that? I see she probably was an artist as well. Probably makes designs for our next dolls as well. I wonder what these dolls were going to do. 
maybe she kept a few for herself, was what we're gonna do with cleaning, her cooking, I need a key. Uh, right. So we found a key, so I guess we need to go back down. Do, do, do we go? <laughs> I saw that coming. Arthur is my big boy, the calm. Don't look at. Don't play with Celia. Celia, you're breaking my heart. Wants to play. This is gonna be like a Emily wants to play. So let's have a look at these. So let me just. In the quiet corners of my workshop, where the essence of creativity interwines with the ethereal, I have birthed a doll named Arthur. Serenity draped his delicate features and his demeanour echoed a tranquil ambience. But beneath a veneer of calmness lay a chilling secret, an unsettling reality that emerged only when Arthur was stirred to anger. In those moments, his continents transformed into a harbinger of darkness as an explicable force awakened within him. Arthur the calm boy doll became an unexpected vessel for dominant malescence that manifest only in the throes of anger as an unwitting crater. I find myself entangled in the dichotomy of his existence between the tranquility of his everyday presence and the ominous revelation that he conceals a killer's extinct within his seemingly innocent form. Right. Use this one. In the mystic embrace of Japan's ancient traditions, I once wove a tale with my own hands, a tale embodied in a doll named Saichiko crafted during my sojourn in the land of the rising sun. Saichiko conceals within her delicate form a haunted secret. My artistic ambitions unwittingly entwined with a tormented spirit during her creation, leaving Saichiko a vessel of those who met her gaze sense an overwhelming dread for her despisers anyone who dare peer into the abyss of a ghostly continent's melancholic malescence become an unintended legacy of my craftsmanship forever binding me to the chilling consequences of my creation a doll wrote with a particular hatred for those who met her gaze stands as a testament to the supernatural mysteries that linger within the shadows of artistic expression so basically, don't look at this doll. <laughs> you look at her. Sayachiko, Japanese Sayachiko. name, I think. Then I think we have a Frankie. I guess we'll find out. <clears throat> Time for this. No note for this one. To be fair, I think we did meet this one. Who's this? Celia. In the corners of my memories, there exists an old companion named Cecilia, a doll whose friendly demeanour conceals an unsettling appetite. With a vintage charm and endearing smile, Cecilia has been a constant presence in my life. However, beneath the surface of her amenable nature lies a particular and unnerving truth. When hunger grips her porcelain soul, Cecilia undergoes a transformation that believes her effable exterior. The insatiable craving for sustains a hunger that transcends the boundaries of normalcy takes hold and she becomes capable of unthinkable deeds to associate her unceasing desire for human flesh. It is disconcerting paradox this juxtaposition of warmth and horror within the confines of a Don Cecilia, a testament to the inexplicable and enigmatic nature of the companions we create. 
So, and we've just seen a load of bodies out there that seem to have like, like, well, bodies everywhere and stuff. And I wonder if Celia might have gone after them, or maybe someone is feeding her, or someone's feeding Cecilia, the dog. Cecilia, huh? Frankie, Cecilia, Siahiko, Arthur. How much dolls she made? Cecilia. Anyways, I've got another camera battery, which we will take. Can I take? Oh, I've got too many. Oh, there we go. This one I think we pick lock, so... There we go. Alright, we're in. And another note. I see. Meet Frankie, my adorable yet particular creation from my teenage years. Crafted with a blend of creativity and a touch of a supernatural. Frankie is no ordinary doll. He's my haunted companion with his innocent exterior. Frankie lures you in with his cuteness, but don't be fooled. When he's angered, he transforms into a mischievous monster. A testament to the depths of my teenage imagination. Every stitch and every detail tells the story of late nights spent in my room, conjuring a friend who straddles in the line between charming and eerie. Frankie is more than just a doll. He's a manifestation of my youth. Eccentricities, a tangible reminder of the whimsical world I created during those formative years. Martha. So these dolls are basically parts of Martha's past, or maybe parts of times in Martha's life, maybe? I don't know. Also, isn't there something usually at the back here? Yep, there's a key. That's remembered from the thing, and I think we're about to have a jump scare after being in here. So when we're ready, three, two, one. Peekaboo! <laughs> there we go. All right. Frankie, can you tell me what is going on here, please? I just want to play with you. Oh my god. At least Frankie actually has a voice. <laughs> At least he'll tell you. He just wants to play. Okay. Am I meant to go towards her, or will she? Kill me! Wanted to see. Okay, really don't go near her. Oh, Freaking hell! All the dolls here. Hey, I think you had an. Yeah, something to do with counting the knives on these dolls, wasn't it? So one, three. One, four. So, it's one, three, one, four. That's it. We're in. Right. There's a key, I believe. I think one might be for the basement. See you later, guys. Go out! You are not welcome here! Well, throw me out then! <laughs> oh, frickin' hell. Is she still downstairs? I guess it's gonna be things like that all the time where you have to really stay away from a certain doll. Okay, this looks very different to the net demo indeed. Another underfloor. This house is huge. Probably and that's probably is that Martha? Hmm. Windows to the outside. Jeez. What is 
use that camera battery more. And there's a code here. I don't know where we find the code. I wonder if we take the camera out of these. Some of the pain seems to be one key. There might be something that we can't see with a naked eye. What's... A lot of wonky paintings. Hello there, mate. <laughs> oh, a copy of Downstairs is there. Shit. What are you writing there, bud? Can I have this? NOTES! Ah! I can't take it off. Oh, have a dog's family picture. I can't even see the bloody picture. Can you see that again? Ah. One's not been created yet. Oh, that's cute. So they're having a freaking tea party. Anyway, what's on this note? Ah. In the dimly light house, an ominous monster doll lurked its passive in concealing a malevolent spirit. Within the doll, a horrible of evil stood as an essential within the haunted halls with a glassy eye that seemed to hold ancient secrets. The monster doll's presence echoed through the eerie corridors of the mysterious house. The sinister whispers of a doll infested transforming the house of shadows into a chilling realm where the line between doll and the monsters blurred revealing a tale of malice and they're all coloured so pink doll house blue monster yellow and evil red so what's in what's going on in here I see you've handcuffed someone to a wall does that say? She what? Oh god. She wanted to kill us. Who Martha wants to kill these dolls? <laughs> For God's sake! <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't freaking move. Frankie, Frankie's room. A fall. I don't know if I'm supposed to go to water. Red is one. Could this be for the code? Red one. But there's also a. S that's oh, that's a seven. Am I, am I going further down? Wait, I didn't get to go in. No. There's a trap door here, I see. <gasps> oh, there we go! So it would be three, two, one, two. For the key. So it would be, it would be three, two, one, two. So 
three, two, one, two. Hey, we're in. And we have some Tycho's key. We have one of the dolls' rooms. So. Yeah. E. I'm in, and I should really stay away from you. Uh huh. Which is a black one somewhere. Oh. Mm. There's a one last one in there. Eight. So. I thought, I thought that was going to be game over, I had to start all that again, so, well, eight. Of course. <laughs> of course it is. So it's going to be Saban, seven, one, two, eight. Of course it would be as well. <laughs> Let's open, and I've had another key. Deleted off the room key. And we're getting to the next room, huh? I take it I'm not be very happy that we're going through the rooms. Now what the hell happened in it? The state of it. Oh, hello. Got a lighter. I'm sorry. I'm Arthur, can you tell me why you killed Martha? Martha was a great woman. She was our mother, but she did a mistake. A big mistake. What is the mistake she did? She wanted to kill us. She wanted to kill us. So, these dolls were like her children, but she wanted to get rid of them, maybe because of how cursed they were. And maybe they weren't very happy with that. So, now what? Now that door's open, okay. I, I can have the seat just fine. Hey you, look behind you. Oh frickin' hell. on down this path. Oh, I can't see for shit. Let's get my camera on. Wait, there's a code. 1101. Ah. What is this? What are these levers? One, one, zero, one. Ah. So what did that do? Black, I can't see. Oh. Ah! Ah! I guess I was not supposed to go through that way. Oops. <laughs> oh dear. <sighs> oh, I got knocked out. Ah ha 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 ha. Me. Right. 
Jesus Christ. Anyways. Oh. I... Shit. That was hurtful. But how the fuck I'm not dead? I don't know. Frankie, why you attacked me? I, I thought we are friends. Why would you be friends? Can at? you tell me where the hell I'm? Um, just like you've been kidnapped, for starters. Yeah, anyways. Oh god, that's like you have a mate you stepped with it. I mean, if he can befriend a doll, right, he's gonna befriend anyone. And we found a fuse, of course. There's gonna be a fuse or something. Can I just open this door? I could do. Frankie? <laughs> oh, oh shit. Shit. She wanted to kill us! She made us and then she regretted that! Well, maybe she put something in you guys that she should have done. Like, make you guys curse? Huh? That's going towards the light. I really love Martha! She was my mother! Have I got a fine? Someone's having a feast. I guess we don't want to go in there, do we? So maybe we carry on straight down. I can see better that camera anyway. Huh, this looks promising. Why am I hearing flies over there when they're all over there? And this is a few that's flown over here. What is that? More camera batteries. Camera battery jackpot by the looks of it. And more! Holy moly. Pro I probably might need these in the long soon. Hey you. Listen to me. Go out from here before you will die. Well, I've been told by someone to come and investigate here, haven't I? Or was I made or did I just decide to come here myself because I was curious? Sorry. Why are they all crying? Because they're dead. They probably betrayed. Right, that's two. We've got one more to find. Gross. You Frankie, I feel like I will die if I stay here. He did just tell you to get out. So here. Camera battery. I guess you're a cameraman yourself, huh? Maybe there's no. Unfortunately, yes. But this is the truth. I told you to go out, but you don't listen to me. It's a horror game. Since when do 
protagonists listen or notice the first signs when they should actually fuck off and get out. Go to a pub and grab a beer. Do something better. Go 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 see your wife. But of course, they've probably got to do this because money, right? Uh, black of zombies and I can walk in the table apparently <laughs> what if I am already dead I thought there was going to be a chase or something when he came roaring. Oh, Mondred. I think I escaped. You think? <laughs> you think you escaped? You died like the others before you. Is there another ending? Where I could have actually gotten out of there just fine? I think this is already one of the scariest games I've played already this year. It was full of jump scares and the puzzles were nice um i had to obviously go back and just check some of the notes i didn't realize you have to turn them sometimes i wish there was more of um, them dolls and um, like trying to kill you or you had to like sleep past them or something or try and um, not go near them and stuff oh i like the graphics the um the story was nice um i think basically martha made these these possessed dolls and regretted what she had done and tried to get rid of them by burning them probably and now maybe they've obviously killed her i hope there's more to come from this or what's more to come from this game developer so i've really really enjoyed this i like how a protagonist seems to somehow make friends with one of the dolls like why would you befriend them <laughs> um it was a little laggy in some places so i had to turn down um some of the settings at some point all right guys well i'm gonna be there for today if you enjoyed this video Please to share, friends and family who much of the content. Like, subscribe, comment down below what you think. And I'll see you for the next time.